What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? What I'm going to be doing right now is fully powering up Ray Lewis because he's a goon. He's going to be powered up all the way to a 98. With Blue Kim, he should be get to a 99 with everything I'm going to add to him. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and show you on my defense why, why I'm going to add him to the squad and how it's going to benefit my squad. Just in case you guys want to you know, take a couple notes down on why I do what I do. And you don't have to get the players that I get, but you'll be like, okay, well, I could do it this way for my team and get this player and do this, you know, and think about the long term too. So anyways, and I, the reason why I say long term is what I'm, what, what I'm about to break down to you guys right now. So as you can tell, Laketon Vanderus is in the squad. He is a goon. I like him. But the thing about it is, one thing that he's lacking, not that his overall, his overall is good. It's, it's, it's cool. I'm all right with that. But his hit power, because Madden didn't give him the hit power he deserved, I'm going to have to put him in the, in the um, as a backup for now until hopefully he gets a new card and hopefully they do him justice. But for now, it's it's not really that great. So I was like, I was thinking, okay, I want another middle linebacker. As you can tell, I got a few good, I got some good ones. These linebackers are actually good. I got some good linebackers, but I wanted a better upgraded one, right? So I was like, okay, well, I also want a right outside linebacker. So I wanted to buy one, right? To go buy one and power up, power up a right outside linebacker. I, didn't, I found one that was all right. The rest of them I really didn't care for right now. So I, I, I actually, when I was just, when I was going through my squad, I actually discovered, I was like, okay, this is what I could do. I'm going to put Ryan Shazier as my right outside linebacker, keep him in as my third so we could keep all his Kims and put Ray Lewis as my first. So these goons are going to be out there, heavy hitters. I'm not going to add no special abilities or anything because by themselves, they're already heavy hitters and they're fast. So that will actually add a lot of speed and hit power to my squad, which I want. So without further ado, let's go ahead and power up Ray Lewis and I can actually show you better than I could tell you. So let's go ahead and get this going. Yeah, because once I get it done, you'll see exactly what I mean. And you're going to see how, how much of it is going to make a difference when it comes to my overall for the player. I don't know about my team, but just for the player at least. So where is he at? He's right here. I bought his actual card. So he, ha he has a... Remember, you have to have your 93 unless you have a power pass. He has one other card. So you get that one and you'll be able to power him up. It's probably going to take quite a bit of training. But it is what it is. All right, here we go. And he's going to be fast, too. Oh, seventh. I was hoping just to get the card and add it. That's all right. So I took about 15, 15K training, but oh, oh yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I didn't buy the card. I used my 97 power pass. That's why I was like, whoa. I forgot to mention that. Just so you guys know, because remember, I, I took off my 97 power pass off Deion Sanders, and I actually completed say and put the card for that. So when I was thinking about what to use my 97 power pass for, that's what I used it for, because I was thinking about a right outside linebacker or a middle linebacker. And in the long run, the middle linebacker, we're going to benefit more from the middle linebacker, because in order for you to get a 99 squad, you have to have two 99 middle linebackers anyway. So I know Ray Lewis most likely will get another card. If not, he'll be a 99 overall with blue Kims either way. So anyways, I want to show you his, his X factors and abilities. So he gets Fear Monger, Unstoppable Force, Reinforcement, Zone Hawk, Shutdown, Run Stuffer, and Momentum Shift. He gets quite a bit. Okay, Clutch, okay, okay. Reach Elite, Search Care Tackling, Unfakeable, Enforcer, which is good. I need, it, I need it a linebacker with Enforcer. We finally got one. I'm not going to put it on him, but if I have to, I will. I like having all my safeties because I feel I could do a lot more with them. So it gets Reach Elite, okay, Enforcer again. So it gets Enforcer quite a bit. Okay, that's good. Run Stopper, Secure Tackler, Tip Drill, Pick Artist, Strip Specialist, out of my way, Goal Line Stuff, Lumberjack, Inside Stuff, No Outsiders. Oh, he might be able to get, oh, when he gets a 99 overall, which he probably will eventually. So same thing right here. I'm not gonna name everything off because we already named a lot of these off, but I'm gonna see if I see anything different. So it says Reach Elite. I thought he could get Reach Elite. It really don't matter. So then were his abilities right there. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he only... Okay, I, I thought it showed several teams for some reason. I know he only played for one team. It was his D. I was thinking too fast. So we're going to add... Who did? What did I have on? I got to go see who I have on my players because right now, I got to make sure everything evens out. So we're going to put Sprinter on him right now. Font. Let's see what font I want. 
these are all right. They actually got some good font. Most fear. Oh, that's the little card, the little most fear card. The, the free one they give you. I'm going to send a keeper right here. I, I like that card art. If I get bored of it, I'll, I'll put something else in there. I mean, I'll switch them out. All right, so we're going to go add them to the lineup, and I'm going to show you exactly what I was talking about. Watch, I'm going to show you guys right now. Big difference. So I'm going to have to remove Ryan Shazier out, out of the lineup in order for me to put him as right outside linebacker. So I got, so he's going to be a lockdown. So I could put, I'm going to put pass rush. How much pass rush I got? Because I got to, one of them got to go to pass rush, right? Okay, so I got, okay, so I can just put lockdown on Ray Lewis because he's going to get, okay, so I got 33 out of 30 out of pass rush, so that's fine. Okay, so let me go ahead and put Ryan Shazier. You're going to see right now, watch it. Ryan Shazier, remember his card is a 97 stock. I'm going to put Ryan Shazier right now as a right outside linebacker. He goes to a 98 stock with Blue Kims. He's going to be a 99 overall card right now. So I basically made Ryan. He, he's a naturally a 97. He went up to a 99 overall as a right outside linebacker. Just in case you guys might want to do the same thing. I go ahead and put him as my actual third. Just so I can actually have him. So he can keep all his, you know, his Kims and abilities and so forth. So... Okay, so he's right there. So he even stays. Look at he, Oh, he's a 98 right there. See how he's a 98 right there and a 99 right there? Pretty glitchy. So we're going to put Ray Lewis in. We're going to move all this stuff around. So I'm going to put lockdown on Ray Lewis right now. Okay. So why, why didn't I put the other guy? Because he's a 92. Ain't this guy faster and better? No, he's 87. Oh, he's 90. Acceleration, hit power. Yeah, let me put the yeah, I'm gonna put this guy right here in place of Devin White. Kawana Alexander is a goon, that's why. So we'll fix all that up. But let's go ahead and uh see because we don't have no lockdown or nothing on Ray Lewis, so nothing's going on right now. So we're gonna go ahead and put times four. 425 training. You see, did it do anything? Yeah, so he's a 299 overall, and that's after I put the lockdown on him. So as you can tell, Ryan Shazier is 99, Ray Lewis is 99. I created two 99 beasts right here. So I'm happy with that. And the big reason why I wanted a Ryan Shazier as a right outside linebacker is because I needed one. So for now, this is a squad, how we're going to utilize it. And once I get a right outside linebacker that I want, then we'll go ahead and buy him and put him on squad. But for now, I'm happy with what I got. But let's go ahead and check out these stats on Ray Lewis. He got 95 speed, 94 acceleration. 99 tackle, 90 strength, 99 play rec, 75 zone coverage, 98 hit power. Wow. 94 block shedding. That is goonish. So now I'm going to show them to you guys just his stock card alone. Just like without all the blue kims and everything so you guys can know how he looks. If you guys just have that card and that card alone. So here over here on our right side we have the stock card which is actually decent. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 98 play rec, 98 tackle, 92 strength. 94 block shedding and 98 hit power and 73 so the zone coverage is not all that but everything else is is pretty decent though i'm gonna ride with it he's fast he'll be able he's a heavy hitter he'll be able to make things happen out there and i'm cool with that so yeah i'm happy we're gonna have two middle linebackers so whenever we get another right outside linebacker i'm gonna go ahead and uh well add him in. I, I know clay matthews is going he's a heavy hitter too there's nothing wrong with him but at this time in the game we we need a, we need a better upgrade than Clay Matthews, like seriously. So right now Ryan Shazier will do the job. And once we get a better right outside linebacker or even a left outside linebacker that can put out as a right outside linebacker, we'll go ahead and do that. But I'm hoping that Nathan Vandridge gets the upgrade and they give him his good hit power. So we'll go ahead then we'll be go ahead and uh upgrade him. But like I said though, there's a lot of promos still coming out, quite a few. So there's a lot more coming once they release the new content and they release these new players then we'll go ahead and add, add them to the squad if it's someone that we like but our, our squad is looking good right now like seriously like it's looking pretty decent I, I like it and right now at this time i'm more concerned about getting the players that i want i do want another halfback i do want a center 
I'm waiting. I'm hoping Emma Smith gets another upgrade soon so I can add another card. If not, I'm going to have to get... We got Alvin Kamara. I got to switch these guys out. I'm going to have to go ahead and pick up another halfback for us in order to, you know, compete a little better because, you know, he's he's getting a little bit worn out out there without, without, a, new, without a new upgrade. But he's doing the job as for now. But like I said, if you don't get an upgrade soon, I'm going to have to go get another halfback. But I'm going to go ahead and leave right here. If you guys like what you've seen, drop a like. If you guys think subs sub to the channel, there will be more great, amazing content coming your way. Thank you guys all for tuning in. I'm out.